Hey there YouTube, Joe's Guides One here with another episode in the Zombie Weapons Guide. Today it'll be fuck. Today's a special episode. Um, we are doing improvised weapons, makeshift weapons. Um, these are weapons that, you know, all of the ones that I did you can make at any place. There's no any warehouse, workshop, I should say. No electricity is required is uh, required. Um, Although it would help, but you don't really need it. You can do this with just hammers and nails, shit like that. Um, I would advise not doing this at home because, or at all, if in an apocalypse, because this is just held together with zip ties. Um, I had to do some extra, extra um, tying, I guess, to fix it because the blades were wobbly and they're still pretty wobbly um, and I'm afraid that if this like if this breaks it's gonna come off and fucking smash me in the face like we're at home but anyways this is the first weapon all I did was I took a 2x4 well it's not a 2x4 it's just like a piece of wood but that's pretty much what I refer all blanks and planks and boards like this um, anyways I took a 2x4 and I drilled a hole here and a hole here. Um, there's a nail right here. That's where uh, where I drilled it. I added the nail in to keep these in place. Um, and then I took a zip tie. I put it through the hole at the top, and then put it through these two uh, saw blades. Then put it through this one and tightened it. It was still a little bit wobbly, so I put another one going through uh, these two to keep them together, and then another one on the side to keep them a little more um, strong. I wouldn't go with this one unless you can get a better way of securing this because this is pretty weak and this is going to break easy and these aren't necessarily going to break the um, break the skull. Um, but this, all the weapons I have here work great on humans. This I wouldn't use against zombies because it'll, you know, it won't really get through. Um, but yeah, I would. Use this only against humans. Um, but if you're trying to make it hole here, hole here, zip tie, or any other method that you can find to keep these secure more tightly um, or tighter, zip tie holds these two together. Um, maybe get a little bit of a longer board. This one's kind of short, but anyways, that's that one. And I'll be doing tests for all these weapons, of course. The next one is by far the easiest and the most, um, I don't want to say reliable. I don't know what the word is for something that you can find everywhere. Um, I'll say ubiquitous, I guess, but that's not really how you use that word. That does mean everywhere, but it, it, it means like concept and shit. I don't know. Um, anyways, it's just a baseball bat with some nails in it. Um, you gotta get a wooden one. If you get a metal one, you might have to get like a welding tool or some solder or something like that. But, um, a wooden one, you can just smash some nails into it. This is the bat I used in the baseball bat review. Um, it's pretty short since I think this is for a little kid, but you can definitely get longer ones. And you can find nails everywhere in any workshop. Um, once again, I just hammered these in. An electric uh, drill, an electric drill would work a lot better to keep these, you know, to put screws in. They would stay in more effectively. Um, but this works fine. Um, the only thing you got to worry about is hitting stuff and then nails flying off in your face. Um, so you want to wear protective gear if you're using this, and pretty much any weapon you want to wear um, protective gear. If you're on the wasteland, um, you should always wear something that covers your eyes, mouth. Ears, nose, um, gloves, something that's not too baggy. Um, you generally want tight clothing so it's harder for a zombie to grab on. Short hair, you should wear a hat or a helmet. Um, anyways, that was just a, just a short thing.